back at you again for emergency edition here. I thought I'd get the camera out and do a little filming for y'all. Uh, riding to the office here in a service truck. Pick up a little water trailer for a guy. As you know, uh, you know everything tends to always goes bad on the weekends. And uh, this guy's got a big pump in that went out for him. It's always a thumbs down, you know. Wish everything could be a thumbs up, just like y'all always smashing the thumbs up for, button for us on all our videos. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in. I uh, got a little sidetracked as always, but so point of today's video was, uh, you know, we're obviously the customer's gonna be without water. We gotta wait on a motor to come in. Uh, it's a large motor that we don't have in stock. We're getting it shipped to us here the next day, but. The point of today's video is going to show you a little water trailer we got for people. Um, you know, you can hook it up in a matter of seconds and, you know, the customer has water. So in our case, you know, we use it for a customer that can have water until we get the... Uh, if, Usually this doesn't happen, but they can still have water until we get a large motor in. But, you know, this water trailer can be used for other things. It can be used to, you know, if you've got a cabin way out in the woods, or if you've got a watering trough way out in the woods, or something that's that's a long ways away and doesn't have access to water, um, you know, this would, this would be a good idea for that too. So, you know, not only just for somebody that's in, in a emergency situation, but for something where you're not going to need a lot of water, but don't need, you need some water, but not a permanent source of water, just a temporary supply. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. I'll uh, get back to the shop, I'll get this thing hooked up. All right, let's go show you all this thing. I got it hooked up, loading back up here to a little apparatus back here. Um, you can see this is what we normally use to fill our water truck up with. We've got a little 1500 gallon tank and these hoses hook into our water truck. So that's what we're filling it with right now. What we did though, um, this was an old trailer we had for our trencher. And uh, so it just worked out perfect. Um, we retired our trencher and got a mini X, so we kept this. Uh, this is a 550 gallon tank. You can see it pretty much fits perfect between the width of the trailer here. And so we just got that set in right there. Uh, screwed this down a couple boards to keep it from going anywhere. Got a strap. And in the back here, which is the part you want to know, um, got us an outlet here to hook onto another hose. Uh, sometimes we'll use this if we, you know, need some more water while we're drilling. We can take this tank and hook it into our rig, pump more water. Um, but if we're not using that, this valve stays closed. We've got a half horse jet pump here. Runs off the drop cord. And then the key to the trick of it is, if you wanna have something that's portable, get you a washing machine hose here. It's got two hose connections onto it. Um, you know, female by female. We've got one in here. This can hook onto your spigot at your house. It can, this can hook onto another garden hose. Um, whatever you may need to water something. Um, you know, this is, this is how we did it. Hook the drop cord up, hook the hose up, turn it on, you got water. Um, we've also used this trailer to water food plots, actually. Um, we'll carry us a little, two, little small handheld 2000 watt generator, set it right here next to the trailer, uh, hook it up to that pump, and run it. Uh, this is, you know, an excellent application for not only an emergency situation, which we're using it for here on Sunday afternoon, um, trying to get our customer water till we get our uh, motor in that we normally have in stock. We just don't. Perfect storm here. Um, so, you know, this is a good trailer to get somebody by, but it's also a good thing to have if you're way back in the woods off the road and need water. Um, you know, there's not really a whole lot of money in this trailer. Um, you know, you got a small jet pump, a little 500 gallon tank. There's probably, I don't know, I'd say less than a thousand dollars in everything. Uh, which I know that's a lot of money, but you know, 
the value of water is, you know, I don't want to say worthless. What's the other word I'm looking for? The opposite of worthless. Invaluable. There you go. Um, the value of water is invaluable. And, you know, we've, we've used this trailer, I can't tell you how many times, to get us out in a pinch or, you know, bring water back to re remote locations where we don't need it. So, we'll quit rambling on. Just want, thought I'd do a little quick video for y'all. I'm getting ready to load this up, take it out here. Um, it's a good idea to have if you ever need water anywhere. And I'll do a final recap of it when we get up on the job site and hook it up for the customer. So stay tuned for that.